wave properties. So there are several basic properties for cyclic waves. Uh, in another tutorial, it discusses uh, amplitude of waves. Uh, and here we're going to look at the properties of wavelength, frequency, and wave speed. And what we'll see is the um, those three properties uh, are not independent. There's a connection uh, among them. So, but first let's define what we mean by these properties. So the wavelength is basically the distance between wave crests, or we can measure it as the distance between uh, wave troughs, the bottoms of the waves, um, and uh, for uh, say transverse waves, it's the distance from peak to peak of a wave or from valley to valley of a wave. The frequency is the number of oscillations per second of the wave's uh, material motion. So if we have uh, waves that we're generating on a slinky, uh, if we're generating transverse waves, then the frequency that we're shaking up and down um, is the frequency of the waves. Uh, for longitudinal waves, the frequency that we push uh, left and right to generate longitudinal waves would be the frequency of the waves in that case. Now, uh, for sound, there's a direct uh, relationship between uh, the frequency of the waves and the pitch that we hear. And in fact, musical notes are simply sound waves of uh, different frequencies. The uh, faster the vibrations, the higher the frequency, and the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch of the musical note that we hear. So in this uh, set of tuning forks, this uh, largest tuning fork uh, could be uh, middle C, which is uh, 256 hertz, and then a higher frequency would be D, then E, then F, then G, A, B, and then finishing with C of the next octave, which is twice the frequency at 512 hertz. Uh, so we have that the um, higher notes, the ones with higher pitch, uh, are produced by, say, for a stringed instrument, the shorter strings. The lower notes, the low pitch, uh, is produced by the um, long strings. The short strings produce uh, sound waves with short wavelengths, the long ones with long wavelengths. If we have a uh, pipe instrument, uh, like these pan pipes, then the long pipes produce the low notes, the um, short pipes, the high notes. Uh, we can listen to that with these rather poorly played pan pipes. So as And we can uh, also uh, just change the length of a pipe, uh, in this case uh, by pulling the um, piston out uh, to lengthen the chamber of the pipe, or pushing the piston in to shorten the chamber of the pipe. And you'll see that when the uh, piston is pushed in, the short pipe produces high pitch, and when it's pulled out, it produces a low pitch. Now, uh, as I mentioned, the musical octave is a um, doubling of the frequency from uh, one octave to the next. And uh, in fact, when we have a pair of strings, uh, one string um, that is half the length of the other, then we uh, say by having a long string and then fretting the uh, string by uh, putting our finger in the middle of it. So this uh, shorter uh, string uh, has half the wavelength and it uh, vibrates with twice the frequency. And so we have, um, in that case, a difference 
of the uh, frequencies which is associated with a one octave difference in the notes. Um, so uh, I won't try to sing that but uh, if you have any experience with um, uh, music you'll recognize what uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, now um, in many cases we have a wave which is uh, reflecting because it's uh, fixed at one end and when we have that reflecting wave we get a standing wave as you see in this um, uh, just cartoon. Uh, let's look at some uh, transverse standing waves generated by uh, shaking this slinky at different rates. So these are some long wavelength standing waves and now it will be shaken uh, faster to shorten. So now we have developing shorter uh, standing waves. Increasing the frequency here again in a moment. So it's hard to shake with exactly the right frequency to get that standing wave. Hopefully, you saw some of those. Um, here is an example for longitudinal standing waves, and uh, you'll mostly see the standing waves over on the right side of the uh, of the image as they are reflecting so you see a pattern of standing waves that develops there. Now those um, standing waves of uh, different uh, frequencies have different wavelengths so the uh, longest uh, wavelength uh, is called the uh, fundamental so if that longest wavelength was say 110 hertz then the uh, standing wave which is uh, half that uh, wavelength would be twice the frequency and then the um, one which is half of that uh, sorry which is uh, a third of the fundamental is three times uh, the frequency and uh, and so forth. Now the last property of um, wave that connects wavelength and frequency is the wave speed and the wave speed is simply the speed at which uh, waves uh, travel. So um, sound waves are rather fast, uh, speed of light waves is extremely fast, uh, water waves are relatively slow just a few miles an hour and, and so forth. Now um, so far we've said that when the frequency goes up that means that the wavelength uh, goes down or conversely if the the longer so, sorry the shorter waves have higher frequency um, and we've also said that as we increase the wavelength the longer waves have lower frequencies but that's the case when we have a fixed wave speed so in these uh, musical examples as long as the speed of sound uh, was fixed then we have this basic relationship between uh, frequency and uh, wavelength. Uh, but we have to consider the possibility of cases where the wave speed is changing. So uh, if we have a fixed wavelength and we increase the wave speed for example increasing the speed of sound for sound waves then the frequency goes up. Um, if we hold the frequency fixed and we increase the wave speed the wavelength goes up. And all the relations shown here in this table if we hear the change is always marked as increasing but if we flip it to being um, the change being decreasing then the result we uh, also uh, flip. So let's look at some examples of this. So if you are tuning a guitar you increase or decrease the tension. If you increase the tension on the guitar string that increases the wave speed uh, on that string and since the length of the string uh, doesn't 
uh, changed any significant uh, degree, uh, holding the wavelength fixed while increasing the wave speed increases the frequency. So you'll get a higher pitch as you increase the tension on the string. Another example of holding the wavelength fixed and increasing the wave speed is uh, when you breathe helium. Helium has a faster sound speed, but the um, uh, wavelength of the sound that you're producing is the same because uh, that's determined by the size of your vocal cords, your um, uh, throat, and so forth. So, uh, well, let's listen to... Okay, so this is my normal voice. And this is my voice after I'm breathing helium. You notice the difference. Right. You see the pitch has increased uh, because, as I said, the speed of sound in helium is uh, higher and so the frequency increases. Let's just listen to another example with uh, Professor. Hello, I'm Chris. Dr. Paul. This is what my normal voice sounds like. And this is what my voice sounds like on helium. audio um, synchronization problem, but uh, you heard her voice. Let's hear that again. Hello, I'm Dr. Paul. This is what my normal voice sounds like. And this is what my voice sounds like on helium. So, again, the um, uh, speed of sound is faster in helium just because the helium atoms are very light, so they move uh, faster than uh, air molecules. Now, one uh, last example, when the waves are approaching the shore, so uh, say ocean waves, um, the uh, decreasing depth of the uh, water as the waves approach the shore uh, turns out decreases the wave speed. The frequency of the waves uh, stays the same, but since the wave speed is decreasing, that decreases the wavelength of the water waves. So we find uh, that the water waves change shape and in fact when they get close enough to the shore they start to uh, crest and uh, break. So in uh, summary, uh, wavelength is the distance between the wave crests or between troughs of waves. Uh, frequency is the number of oscillations per second for a wave's uh, material motion. The wave speed is the speed at which uh, waves move. And as we saw, these are all interconnected. Uh, so when we have a fixed wave speed, the larger the wavelength, the lower the frequency. So for example, the long string um, uh, plays a low pitch uh, note, or the long pipe uh, plays a low frequency note. Uh, when the wavelength is fixed, increasing the wave speed will uh, produce a higher frequency. So that was the example of um, adding tension to a guitar string, increases the wave speed, increases the uh, pitch of the note, and uh, breathing helium uh, increases the wave speed and increases the uh, frequency of the resulting sound waves. Uh, and then finally, if you uh, fix the frequency, uh, lowering the wave speed shortens the wavelength. So that's the example of water waves uh, approaching uh, the shoreline. So those are the basic uh, properties of waves. In uh, some of the other tutorials, we'll look uh, more carefully at uh, not just the single frequency of a wave, but when we have an entire uh, spectrum and um, why that's important in effects animation.